Right, here's another question that I found quite interesting. Um, and the question goes as follows. You've got a right angle triangle ABC and P is a point on AB such that AP is equal to 4 times PB. So A to P is 4 times as much as P to B. Uh, he also says that BC is 3 times PB. So BC is 3 times as big as PB. And you need to show that sine B is equal to K over 5. And you also need to find what K is. Now, at the beginning you can see that it looks quite confusing, but if you tackle the question step by step, um, you should be able to understand it. Now, whenever you have that sort of question, always use the diagram to write down what you know. So in this case, we know that P is such point that AP is 4 times PB. So, A to P is four, uh, 4 times bigger than P to B. So, this part here is 4 times bigger than that part. So, that part must be just one part. Yeah? So, I've got a total of 5 parts. The next thing I also need to know is that BC, so BC is 3 times PB. Okay? So, instead of writing Four and one. What we could do is say that this is just one x. So that side must be four x. And BC is three times PB. So PB is here, and I know that PB is equal to just one x. So PB must be three x because it's three times as big. All right. Now, once you've got some. <clears throat> some length here you can see that here we have a right angle triangle so what I could do is work out my side AC so if I use Pythagoras so Pythagoras I know that this is a right angle triangle so I could say that AB squared which is the hypotenuse is equal to AC squared plus BC squared. Okay, so that's the Pythagoras theorem that we know. Usually it comes as C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. But in this case, our hypotenuse is AB, so I've written AB squared. AC is my short side, and BC is my other side. Now, if I replace the AB with 5x because I've got 4x here plus 1x which is 5x so I can say that it's 5x squared and AC well we don't really know what AC is and BC is equal to 3x so I could say that it's 3x squared all right now if I square the numbers here 5 squared is equal to 25 and x squared is x squared is equal to AC squared plus 9x squared. So now if I want to make AC the subject, I get AC squared is equal to 25x squared minus 9x squared. 25 25x squared minus 9x squared gives you 16x squared, which is equal to AC squared. And now if I want to work out just AC, then I take the square root of 16x squared, which gives you just 4x. Alright, so AC is equal to 4x. Now, how do we prove that sine B is equal to K over 5? Well, if we're talking about sine, we're talking about trigonometry. So, what we're going to do is use Sokatoa and if you remember Sokatoa so for the second part to prove that sine b is equal to k over 5 we're going to use trigonometry and the reason why I know I'm going to use trigonometry is because I've got sine b here so I'm obviously going to use trigonometry now if you remember Sokatoa So I'm going to use this part here. 
the sine of an angle is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Now, <clears throat> here I want to prove sine b is equal to k over 5. So the angle b is right here. So I'm going to position myself here. And my opposite side is 4x. And my hypotenuse is 5x. So I can say the sine b is equal to the opposite side, which is 4x, and I worked out from before, divided by, so opposite divided by hypotenuse, which is 5x. Now if you look at the expression, I can simplify, and <coughs> I can simplify the x's, because the x divided by x cancels out, so I've got 4 over 5. So the question is also asking me to find what k is. k is basically the number which is at the top. So in this case, k is equal to 4. And that's the answer.